Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. Our guest tonight can be seen on the Bravo TV hit reality show, Housewives of Potomac. Please help me welcome the very beautiful Robin Dixon. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I definitely appreciate you being on. I mean, I watch this show. I, there's only a few reality shows that I watch, and I watch this show every Sunday. So it's that's really to talk to you. Yeah, actually. Oh, good. Well, <laughs> well, I'm flattered. I'm, I'm, I'm that's awesome to hear. <laughs> So now, what makes for, you watch ours and not, you know, maybe not? I, I don't know. Well, you know, I watch I watch Atlanta um, Housewives because I live in Atlanta and I know I've met okay. some a lot of the cast. Some have been on the show, um, and so I think one time you happened to come on after them. I guess when you all started mm-hmm. off, and mm-hmm. I said, okay, I just watch. I don't know why, but I right, somehow right. I started watching it, and it was it's really good. And I think because I'm from the DMV area, well, I'm from okay. Richmond, Richmond, Virginia, but you know, okay. not too far. Uh, my mom is from D.C., and so, you know, it just, I guess, because it was close to home, maybe right. another reason why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for good. Sure. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Most well, definitely. It's a great show. This season is crazy. It's crazy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you, being on this show, you've been on a few seasons now, do you ever look back and think, oh, I wish I wouldn't have caught that, I wish I wouldn't have said that, or, you know, what do you, see, what do you think when you're watching the show? Um... You know, not really. You know, watch, watching the show back, sometimes I'm kind of like, oh, wow, you know, that's not exactly how yeah, I yeah. said something because uh-huh. um, they do, you know, they're able to cut around words and stuff yep. like that. And so there's um, a lot of times I see stuff and I'm like, that's not exactly what, <laughs> you know, I was talking about or uh-huh. that's not what I said. And, you know, that's the nature of the beast. So there's really nothing I can do about that. Right, Because right. um, I don't know, I kind of, thought I was, um, <laughs> you know, just kind of speaking freely and truthfully. And so so there's certain things that, like, appear that I have kind of said or, or mm. maybe, you know, just uh, been talking about when they really weren't the case. And so, <laughs> um, so I guess, you know, even if I had a problem with it, there's nothing I can do about it. Cause... Right, right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you do you uh do you feel like when you watch the show that the viewers are uh experiencing you for who you are? Do you feel like it's whatever? Cause I, I, what I believe, and you know, I'm I'm not on a on a reality show, but what I believe is they for the season they give people kind of a plot and kind of what they're going to focus on in their life or focus on what they have going on. Do you feel like that what we see is who you are for the most part? Um, well, yeah, I mean, I definitely think for the most part what you see um, is who I am or, you know, the, the rest of the cast as well. But, you know, it kind of um, becomes kind of hard. I hope you can't. I'm actually cooking, so I hope you can't. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It'll be a real housewife. <laughs> right, yes. It's really real. All right, um, right. You know, I feel like what you see is pretty much who we are, but right. it's a very, like, abbreviated and like rushed version of us because you know there's six women we all have like you know families and kids and whatever else and Mm -hmm. um husbands and it's really really hard to tell our stories in such a short period of time so you know I, i feel like you're getting like some of it but there's so much like backstory that you know you probably aren't really able to see just because we just don't have that much time. To right, tell. that much time, yeah. Yeah, you know, just even with my personal story in, in my living situation, I mean, there's so much more backstory to it mm-hmm. than like, what we see, and it's really hard to make people understand kind of like, you know, why we tick or why we do the things that we do or right. what we've been through and stuff like that in, in such a short period of time. So, Are you, are you comfortable? Because I'm sure you get um, a lot of people have opinion about, you know, you know, the way you and your ex-husband, you know, the way you all live together and, the, and your boys, who are right. adorable, by the way. Do you, do, you, do you ever, do you feel some kind of way if you get negative feedback? or do you, Because you know what it is, you really don't, does not bother you? How do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, you know, we definitely, um, I've def- it's, it's kind of weird because it's like, you know, I live it, so it right. makes it makes sense to me. Like I know why we do the things that we do or, uh. you know, what makes us tick. And so I kind of at first was a little surprised when, you know, maybe other people didn't quite understand, but, right. but then I realized like, you know, if you don't really know the story, the whole story, if you don't really know us, 
um, as well as, you know, I know myself, then right, okay, there's right. a lot, <laughs> you know, there's like a lot to catching up, to, a lot of catching up to do that people really aren't able to do. I'm, I'm and people sorry. are judgmental. I'm making a lot of noise with, with what I'm making. I'm sorry. That's where I listen. Um, you're, you're a mother. You're a mother. So you, right. You're, do what you have to do. Trust me. Um, so I was actually kind of like initially like really surprised when people would like, I mean, I've gotten all types of crazy sure. like yeah. comments and messages and, girl, he don't want you. He right. don't like you. You know, like free yeah. one. And I'm like, it's really not, it's not <laughs> like that. Like, I don't know. It's it's weird. I'm like, I thought, you know, I was kind of explaining our situation as best I could, but I guess I wasn't. <laughs> right, right, right. So, you know, it just, it's very interesting because I guess that's like maybe the intentions of the, um, you know, the, the producers and the network is right. to create confusion so that you do have some people that see it mm-hmm. one way and you have people that see it another way, you know, so exactly. that that creates like, you know, that water cooler talk at work the next day uh-huh. where you're like, oh, did you see that? And what are you thinking? I love them and I love her. Oh, no, I, you know, right. I can't stand them. You know what I mean? So I guess exactly. it's kind of, it, it would almost be too easy if they just, if they just left it like, <laughs> like, yeah, uh, and it wouldn't really, be. It wouldn't be controversial, so no one, right. you know, they had to make it exciting and make it controversial, you know. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, but it is just super weird. I'm like, you know, it's it's, it's the people around me who who know me and and they understand us, and so it's like, right. you know, I don't get this type of uh, <laughs> in my <laughs> right. in my daily life, but geez, you know. Right. But it's all good, you know. It's what I signed up for. So, well, luckily, I have thick skin and I can handle it. And that's important. It's interesting because I did an uh, interview recently, and for some reason, I mean, a lot of people picked up on it. It was posted on YouTube and all this kind of mm. stuff. And so I don't know why. Yeah. I said, Let me read the comments. And someone said, that interviewer sucks. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, you know, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, and it's crazy because you could have, like, a hundred great comments, right. nice comments, and then you might have, like, five, like, mean yeah, exactly. comments, and you're like, it, like, just messes up your whole day. You're like, wait a minute. Right. So, you know, you just have to have thick skin. And you it's, do. And it's really unfortunate that people use the Internet the way that they do to mm-hmm. kind of, you know, attack others and say whatever they want and just, right. you know, I'm like, if you if you wouldn't say this type of stuff to somebody's face, why are you saying Yeah, and you, it? they wouldn't. They wouldn't do it. Right. Like, oh, right. they would yeah. never. Oh, my God. Right. So, so one time, this is so funny, we got um, this, this young girl, I could tell she was young just by her picture, she sent a, a DM to me, Ashley, and Giselle from the show. Okay. And she says, um, you know, Ashley, you're this, this, blah, 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 and, oh, no, no, it was Giselle, you're this, this, blah, 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 and Ashley and Robin, I never liked you, and blah, blah, wow. blah. So, like, I got a kick out of it. I just thought it was yeah. hilarious. So, Ashley replies, like, girl, kick rocks. Was so I'm not then the girl, so, <laughs> But the crazy thing was the girl responded, like, oh, my God, that's so cool of you to respond. See, that's, like, that's what, what she wanted. <laughs> She wanted a reaction. She wanted a reaction. Right. Yeah. She just That's wanted a know. response. She was, uh-huh. It was so funny. And then, That's crazy. Ex- right, and then she, like, re- um, um, sent us another one the other day talking about, great episode. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Now she's the best friend. <laughs> right. Wow. Wow. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's comical. So. so so listen, when you all go back and watch, and you know how you all do the, in- uh, the interviews in between the scenes, mm-hmm. do, you, do you ever – Look at someone else like a Giselle, or well, I know you and Giselle are maybe, y'all probably the closest on on the show, probably. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but like, if someone says anything, one of the cast members, do you ever go like, what? <laughs> like, do you oh ever yeah, like, de- <laughs> definitely. Like you like, oh word. It's right. Like, that's oh, how you okay. feel. Okay. <laughs> I got, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know, we all kind of like puff our chests out in our interviews right. and have a whole lot to say. So. Mm-hmm. Um, but definitely, I definitely be like, oh, okay, I see how it is. You know? <laughs> and, and so I'm sure because I've had other housewives on. So when you come to reunion, to the actual reunion, to the mm-hmm. reunion, do you go with all that ammunition, or do you go? How do you how do you prepare for for a reunion show? You know, it, it's weird. It's like walking into a reunion feels like 
walk into like a prize fight or something. Like, <laughs> you know, you're coming in, you don't want to talk to anybody. Like, right. you know, we're, we're all in the same place, like getting ready. But, you know, we uh-huh. have our own little dressing rooms. But you're like, okay, I don't want to be too friendly because we're about to go out here. Right. And, and, right. <laughs> you know, so it, it really is like a, a prize fight. Like, you know, and then you come out there and it's like, it, it's, it's like nothing else that, <laughs> you know, you'll ever experience. It's just. It's pretty funny, so. And then um, after and it, that, I, I know a lot of things are said. So, what happens when you when you leave the when you finish taping the reunion? Do you just go back to being regular homies, or do you like? I'm not talking there for a minute. <laughs> you know, I mean, it 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 can go well. Some people like, I mean, it really they depends really, on the person. Um, huh? Depends on the person. It on, yeah, it depends on the person, and it depends on what was said. So, like yeah. last our season one reunion Mm -hmm. um, really like created some scars um, between Giselle and Sharice. I mean, they already were on Rocky. Yeah. So like, but she like really like wouldn't let go. Like Sharice really wouldn't let go of, of, you know, or Giselle wouldn't let go of things that were said and crazy. And then same thing with Karen and Sharice. We we didn't really see during season two, like Karen and Sharice had a beef the entire season when we were filming because Karen didn't like how Sharice came for her at the reunion. And it's so it's just oh, like, oh wow. you know, I think it's kind of, you can never let your guard down around any right. of the ladies because right. of things that they say. And, you know, in a situation where you, if, if you're with your friends or people that you grew up with and they say something yeah. crazy out of their yeah. mouth, well, guess what? You can choose to just walk away and no longer be, around them right, like we can't right. choose to do that like we have to you know yeah, work together we gotta, yeah we got to keep it moving and mm-hmm. so we can't sit on you know angry feelings for for a long time because yeah it just you know it just kind of causes problems but yeah we definitely kind of i think it's like you keep it in the back of your head like mm-hmm, I, don't, I, I, I got you get that, right you know right right, <laughs> <laughs> right. So, Karen, uh, she'll be, she's, her team has come, said they're going to be on the show uh, okay. coming up. So, Karen, we learned last week that she moved up. She moved out of Potomac and pretty much kept it hush-hush. Right. And then came to you all like, remember I told you? Right. <laughs> so, so right. everyone looked confused, like, told us what? <laughs> you know. Exactly. What do you think about the way that she did that? I mean, it was just like... It was so unnecessary. It just, no matter what what her reason for it is, right? Um, she didn't have to be so secretive about it. It was just weird. She was yeah, that was really weird. elusive. Like she was hiding something, or she just didn't want to be questioned. I don't. I'm still to this day. I do not understand why she's living in the house that she's living in. Like I just. It's just very bizarre, and nothing she can say. And I'm gonna tell you, she's going. She's going to come with a really oh, yeah. great little excuse. Uh-huh. Nothing she can say makes sense. It just doesn't. <laughs> and so I don't. I really. This. All right. So I'm gonna tell you what my real opinion is. Okay. <laughs> I think. Well, so you haven't seen. You haven't seen where she moved yet, right? Because we have. Right. No, I haven't. I just know oh. she said it's somewhere in Northern Virginia. I forgot what party was. Yeah, it's in okay. ah, All right, I'm, I'm, I can't really, I don't want to spoil it yet. Well I, can t- my, uh, well, I can tell you this. This interview will air after uh, we see it. So you can go ahead and say it. It won't air oh, it before will. that. Yeah. Okay, okay. So my opinion is that she did, did she move to the house she moved to for the show because it okay. is actually a big house. Like it's, it's, it's a really big house. It's real pretty on the outside, and I really think she wanted to have that, like, you know, maybe she wanted to have the biggest house out of <laughs> the other one. You know what I mean? Like, right, right, right. So, but I'm like, that's just, for me, that's not a good enough reason. Like, It's not. And then you um, moved out of Potomac. <laughs> right, you move out of Potomac, and you move to this big old house that, I mean, if this house was in Potomac, it would cost a lot more money. You right, know what I mean? Yep. Like, mm-hmm. So you move to this big old house for whatever reason. Like, you're 52, 53, and your, your husband is 71. Like, who? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> What's the and point? her excuse just doesn't make sense. So. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, let's do this. I'm going to name each cast member, and you tell me what your 
initial thought of and thoughts of them are, okay? Okay. I will start with your girl, Giselle. Giselle. Giselle is a riot. She's just a lot of fun, and I think she's misunderstood because, you know, she can come off kind of mean, um, but she's actually a, a lot of fun. Okay. What about, let's go from uh, last season to Katie. Katie. Oh, God. Bizarre. <laughs> Where is she? They never said anything while she left. Well, she actually really couldn't handle the depth. Like, season one was very surface level. Yeah. And um, because it was just introductory, they had to kind of introduce us and get right. to know us. Um, Katie couldn't handle, like, how how much in depth it go, like, the season two goes and how uh, much they want from us. Um, she wasn't really willing to be open with her life. And can I tell you something about Katie, which I don't know her, I've never met her, she's a gorgeous mm-hmm. woman, but I think she was on something for real. Um, I agree. <laughs> Every time I you agree. saw her eyes, it was like she was on something. Okay. Yeah. But God bless I agree. <laughs> and, and honestly, I think Katie needs to get help for whatever it is that she's... Yeah. Like, and I, I don't mean just, like, substance. I think but maybe what? there's some sort of, like, mental... Right. I don't know. You know, like trauma. Something that she's been through that she needs to get treated for. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Ashley. Mm, um, <laughs> phony. <laughs> 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 so Ashley puts on this great front to be, like, her her personality, she's got this real chipper, you know, hi, guys, like, uh-huh. you know, wants to be all in your face and seems so nice, but... I think somewhere deep under that, she's just as phony as can be. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, from watching I like Ashley, but I did feel like that she was doing too much, you know, mm-hmm. with the spreading the rumors or whatever she thought she learned or heard about you and your relationship. I thought that was like, okay. Right. All right, Ashley. Right. You mean, like, like she said, like you said, if you really cared, you should have said it to me. You know, it right. came to me. You like, wouldn't so do, I do it in that manner. You know, it's right. the way yeah. that she, she did it. Yeah. I don't, you know. I, I've been there, done that. Like, people are right. always all, all up in my business. It's not about that. It's the way in which she did it. Right, yeah. Okay. You know. What about Sharice? Mm, she is so generous and hospitable and a very giving and kind person. That's good. That's good. We said Karen. You want to say anything else about her? <sighs> <laughs> but uh, oh. it was funny how you went to her uh, and called her out. When she did the trip with, I mean, the boat ride with just uh, yeah, I I, got, I have some more calling out of her. I need to do. I mean, <laughs> I just think Karen is like putting on a front for mm-hmm. whatever reason. I don't know what it is, and I you know I can't figure it out. But right. that's the one person that like we. I, I won't say the one person, but like. That's not the real Karen that we see on TV. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. actually, you remember like the, her little audio where she's like, you know, talking about Cerise and mm-hmm. she the my, that's the real Karen, but right, she doesn't right. want us to see that. <laughs> and when she gets you know mad, I mean? you see a little bit of the real Karen too. When she gets mad, right, <laughs> right. So she's more. She's like, she's just. Uh, I mean, I don't want to use the word, word phony again, but <laughs> um, I'll I'll give her fake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. And last, last, last but not least, the new woman to the cast, uh, Monique. Mm-hmm. Monique is loquacious. She <laughs> talks and talks and talks and talks, and you know, it's one of those like where when you're ha- like when you're with, with a group of people, and she cuts people off, and then she'll um, she'll just keep talking and going on and on and on, and she like stifles the conversation. But oh, okay. that being said, so that would, like, frustrate me and annoy me. But that being said, she's actually a really, she's a really sweet person. She's a good oh, yeah. person. She laughs a lot. She she loves to entertain, as we see. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe a little too much because you know, <laughs> after a while, I'm sorry, but <laughs> all, all them people, she's, you know, entertaining. And she believes she has, they have a lot of family members that they that they kind of take care of. And, yeah, you can kind of tell. Um, yeah. Yeah, but she um she she's a good person. She just talks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> What's one of your? We all have a pet peeve. What's your pet peeve? Ooh. Hmm. What is my pet peeve? I don't know. I got. I need to think about that. I'm sure I have a few. 
<laughs> but you know, but someone that talks about themselves all the time yeah, that's definitely yeah. a pet peeve. Like yeah. I I don't know. I'm just I'm more of a listener. Right. And so when so when someone is just talking about themselves all the time, that that kind of <laughs> yeah. annoys I, me. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. So outside of the show, you have other things that you're working on. You want to talk about that? Yeah, so I recently got involved in real estate investing, um, nice. which is really exciting. So hopefully, um, you know, if we have a season three, hopefully you'll see me, um, you know, doing some of my real estate investing. But um, it was kind of cool because, you know, I um, I went through, like, some financial itchu- issues, right. you know. Right, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And so I never want to be in that position again, and so I'm just looking to do things that will not only, like, you know, bring an in income, but with, but can set up like generational wealth exactly. for me yeah. and my children. And mm-hmm. you know, real estate will even despite the real estate crash, people still will always need somewhere to live. And so absolutely. Um, so that's that's something I got into, and and also because of what I've um, gone through and the response that I've received from a lot of women, how they appreciate me sharing their story, and they've been through stuff, but they're not as courageous to kind of you know spe- speak up or um, I've I've also got. I'm also planning some um, events that are. I don't nice. necessarily want to use the word women's empowerment because I think we use that term a lot. But right, yeah. um, it'll be centered around. Um, it'll be for women and um, particularly about build, building business and creating wealth. And so I'm going to do. I'm hosting while well, I'm planning something locally in Maryland, um, and hopefully, if it's successful, hopefully I can take it on the road and, and visit a few other cities and really bring some knowledge and inspiration to, to women everywhere. I'm sure it definitely will be. Anytime you think, do things for positive, you know, motivation, yeah, you know, it definitely Absolutely. will work out. Definitely I mean, work out. You yeah. know, to me, I'm very, like, I'm, I'm a confident person, and I'm kind of like, you know, I don't really care about what people's opinions are of my right. you know, status and stuff like that, but I understand there's a lot of people in this world who really – aren't as confident about where they are in life. And I just yeah. want people to really just get to that point where they can just be happy with themselves regardless of their situation. Awesome, awesome. And finally, what do you want everyone to know when they watch the show or even outside of the show, what do you want them to know about Robin Dixon? Um, you know, it's funny. Like when I watch the show, I feel like the one thing that's missing that they – for some reason they don't show it's like I'm like really goofy like very goofy <laughs> a lot of fun like you know I don't take myself too seriously right. and um you know I think people would enjoy to see that so you know hopefully hopefully they'll they'll show it one day I don't know <laughs> but um you know I just want people to know that like I just don't take myself or life too seriously and mm-hmm. and um you know I just I I'm not afraid to kind of <laughs> look silly yeah um, and have a good time. Well, listen, I want to thank you so much, Robin, for joining us tonight. You're welcome. You it's know. been a pleasure. Yes, yes. I'm thoroughly through the cooking and everything. And what are you cooking, yeah. by the way? What are you cooking? Um, okay, so I um, have some kale that I'm cooking. Okay. It's not going to sound like super delicious because I try to eat a little healthy. <laughs> so right. kale. I'm about to uh, grill some chicken and... Um, I'll probably make my kids some buttered noodles because kids yeah, like buttered noodles. Yeah, they want that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, but I try good. to keep it real basic. So. Yeah, it definitely sounds good. That especially sounds good. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining us tonight, and I wish you continued success, all the best with all your future uh, endeavors as well as uh, uh, the show. Thanks, Stephen. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure for us too. And listen, our thanks goes to Robin Dixon. You can watch Housewives of Potomac every Sunday night. Check your local listings. We'll be right back.